What's up guys, when you're into looking to buy a brand new base, what should you look for? Or do you guys really think it's all about the way it looks or the way it feels? I think it's the way it feels and you want a base that looks pretty cool too. You don't want to just go out there and look at a base and like, oh it looks like a warlock or it looks uh, like a flying V. I want to buy that guitar or buy that bass because in reality it all comes down to the playability of these instruments and a lot of times playability will make a really unique looking bass like a warlock not that great because a lot of people don't like the look and feel of a warlock uh, guitar they just say it, it it might have a cool look maybe that metal guy will like it and be yeah look at this metal guitar but in reality it might not have the playability of say you should go to the guitar center and try out your instruments or go to your local guitar store and try out the instruments before you buy them because nine times out of ten you're gonna look at a base that you're friends or somebody you look up to play and you're really going to be like I want that bass because James Hetfield plays it. I want that guitar because Kirk Hammond plays it. I want that guitar because Flea plays it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to buy guitars based on what you think is what you want and don't look at a bass just because it's $2,000. It's going to be better than a $600 bass because sometimes I played basses that are $500 that are, that are good and are better than a $1,000 bass. It's How the bass handles when you play it. I played Fender basses, I played Warlock basses, I've even played Dean basses all the way up to Ibanez, ESP, uh, Yamaha. I, I, I always say this Yamaha. <laughs> Is one of those brands that nobody brings up when they're uh, talking about instruments. No one's like, I got the Yamaha bass. It's always uh, Music Man or something like that. Dean is underrated as a bass company, I think. They're known more for guitars than they are for basses. But I highly recommend you guys checking out both of those basses. The Dean Edge 09 bass is a very good starter bass. Look at the uh, Ibanez Sound Gear, really phenomenal uh, bass when you uh, first start out. Um, I think all basses, for example, should be played and tried out. And guys, I recommend you guys don't do what I did when I first uh, picked up a bass. I just picked up a bass because it was on the cheap. And was I pleasantly surprised on what bass I bought? Yeah, I love the bass and I play it all, uh, all the time. It was the Dean Edge 09 4 string uh, bass with the soap bar pickup. 22 frets it does what it's supposed to and it sounds great but don't be scared to go into a guitar center and turn on an amp and start playing because sometimes I see in a guitar center a lot of people go in there and they'll turn on an amp and they'll play very very softly and even the people at the guitar center say crank it up dude and they're like really you want me to crank it up and they're like yeah you better crank it up because they don't want you to buy something that you're not uh, liking the tone or the sound so I'll say this one thing if you're not if you're a new bass player new guitar player bring people who are uh, Intelligent when it comes to the instrument if you know a guy who's been playing bass for five years Or someone who really knows what they're talking about when it comes to instruments Take them with you so they can help you out and pick out something that is gonna be great for you Or talk to one of the guitar center guys that really know what they're talking about and they can really sit down and tone in what you want and what kind of instrument you want because a lot of these instruments might be something you, you like you might like the look of it but you're not going to like the playability you might like one that has uh, a lower uh, action than a higher action you might like one that has heavier gauge strings than another so it all comes down to a lot when it comes to basses and guitars don't just go into guitars and that $50 bass I want it because it sounds good but out of as a beginner all you really need is something that's going to sound good and create music because 
you don't need a five thousand dollar base because sometimes you might play a base for the first six months and then get sick of it and then not play it ever again because the very first part about playing an instrument is the toughest and that's when you either you love the shit out of it or you get so frustrated you quit so as always these are some tips that i can give you on what bases you should buy or try out the brands that i recommend really are the the Ibanez Sound Gear, the Dean Edge 09, and the Yamaha. I'm not exactly sure which, which Yamaha that I tried out, but those are the brands that I recommend. But don't take my word for it. Go out and try and see what you like. You might like the Fender Jazz Bass or the Squire uh, Jazz Bass. You might like even the Music Man Basses. Those are good basses, and if you guys are wanting to know what brands to buy, look at it this way. Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers plays. A music man base. So you want to check out his base. And if you like Metallica, um, Robert Carrillo, the bass player of Metallica, plays a Warwick. Rock bass, if I'm not mistaken, that's the model. And Jason Newstead plays an ESP bass. Those are some uh, really high-end uh, bass players that people know that play uh, really high-end uh, uh, instruments. But for my general knowledge of what I played, the Ibanez, the Dean, and the Yamaha are what I recommend. But if you're new to this channel and you're a new musician, hit the like button, subscribe button. I got a lot of help videos on this channel. I got a lot of bass lessons and a lot of uh, bass reviews. So you might want to check out my bass reviews. I'm going to uh, try to make a playlist of all my uh, bass reviews. So you guys who are new, you guys can click on that. And you guys can see the different bases that I've checked out and I own personally. So you guys can make your own ideas of what you want when you're playing bass. So as always, hit the like button subscribe button and i'll definitely talk to you guys next time hopefully this helped you out on what you should get look for when buying you could be a five-year veteran playing bass this is just something i thought you guys might enjoy uh learning about playing bass and buying basses and instruments